So you're interested in lightsabers. Like most things in life, you have to start somewhere. But where? Where do you start? This is what I want to help you with. First ask yourself, what do you want to do with lightsabers? Do you want to duel with lightsabers? Do you want to twirl and do lightsaber stunts? Or do you just want to collect them? When you research online, there are so many options. So many choices. You have RGB base lit lightsabers, Xenopixel lightsabers, Neopixel lightsabers, Neopixel blades. What does this all mean? Let me explain. By the way, use code HALION at Nsabers for 7% off your purchase. More on this later in the video. Okay, two common lightsaber types that you will run into online is what they call a base lit lightsaber and also commonly a Xenopixel lightsaber and I will explain both. The base lit lightsaber is basically a flashlight, right? You can see like the, what looks like the insides of a flashlight right there with the, um, the light bulb just right there and a Xenopixel is actually referring to the board that's inside the hilt here and it's a circuit board that controls pretty much all the lights and what's happening inside the emitter here right there and I'll demonstrate both but it might not be very easy to pick up on camera and then I'll explain the blade types that, Power off. that should make more sense Power off. okay so this is the base lit which is basically a flashlight right You see? It shines a light that's gonna go into the blade once I attach a blade on here. And the Xenopixel hilt is a little bit different. You'll see some lighting in there, but there's like a lot of prongs in here that will connect to the blade. And, and I'll show that here in a second also. But this is what happens when you turn on a Xenopixel hilt. See, it's a little bit different. And here they are together. This is a light from the base lit, and this is a light from the Xenopixel, and this will make more sense in a second. This is the blade type that will go inside of a base lit lightsaber. If you can see, it's completely hollow. There's nothing in here. This is my flashlight here, and what it's doing with this blade is, you see how the blade is now lit up? And this is just from this flashlight. This is a Neopixel blade. The Xenopixel and Neopixel are two like common words that you'll run into with Xenotype hilt. And that's what the end of a Neopixel blade looks like. And the word pixel is referring to the LEDs. They're calling the LEDs inside the blade pixels. So this is a Neopixel blade. And all of these blades come in different sizes, with the baselet one being a lot easier because you can just cut it if you don't like the, the size of it. There's nothing in the baselet blade. Okay, so I'll show you when I attach the blade onto the baselet lightsaber. And there'll be a couple of set screws in the hilt. See, and this is baselet. And now I will show you the Neopixel blade, which here's the flashlight again. It won't actually light because of that connector here. This blade is not hollow. And what the prongs do is basically set the electricity, send the electricity through into the blade, which will activate the blade itself. And the board, the Xenopixel board is what controls what's happening in the blade, like the colors and pretty much the animations that this blade will do. As you can see, when I turn it off, when I turn the lightsaber off, it will retract. And then to activate, The Xenopixel will be generally more expensive, pretty much depending on what kind of lightsaber you get. Like this is the Ahsoka Xenopixel lightsaber, and this is just a baselet lightsaber that I got off of Amazon. Here they are together, and I want this guide to just serve as like a, a very entry-level 
for beginners that are starting to get into lightsabers or just like a really good uh, buyer's guide if you're looking to get, you know, someone a gift or if you're looking at getting into lightsabers yourself. Also an important thing I want to note is that these are rechargeable. The charging ports are going to be different in different spots depending on, on the lightsaber. Like this one just connects right outside here. You just plug in the AC adapter that will, or is it DC adapter? I don't remember. The um, adapter that will come with it, you can just plug it in right here. Some of them are USB type C and some of them you do have to charge inside the hilt itself like this one in particular. As you can see the charging port is right there. And you can see the battery. The purple thing is the battery there. There will be different charging variants depending on what kind of lightsaber you end up buying. Also important to note that I usually like to use the, the Xenopixel lightsaber here for twirling stunts, for lightsaber stunts. These base lit lightsabers are more for dueling. You don't necessarily want to exactly hit a uh, Neopixel blade because you run the risk of damaging like a connection point between all the mini little LEDs that are in here referred to as pixels which the base lip blade is all the light source is coming right from here right from the from the base hence the term base lit right so you can hit this pretty pretty hard and it'll be okay it's basically just like a flashlight But yes, with the Xenopixel lightsaber and the Neopixel blade, it's more for, like I said, lightsaber twirling. Now, where to shop for these lightsabers? I recommend shopping at Endsabers. Their website is easy to navigate and they have really cool lightsabers. Also, lightsaber replicas from your favorite characters. Use code Haleon at checkout and save 7% off your order, or use the link in the description box below. I want to know what lightsabers you guys are getting, or if you have a favorite lightsaber. Let me know if you have any other questions. It was nice talking to you guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you soon.